The British Prime Minister has struggled to explain the depth of his ties with Rupert Murdoch's newspaper empire. David Cameron faced five hours of questions at the Leveson inquiry into media ethics. His appearance comes after embarrassing revelations about his friendships with top news international executives, including Rebecca Brooks. She's already facing criminal charges over the phone hacking scandal. Europe correspondent Philip Williams reports from London. Do you regret setting up this inquiry, Prime Minister? Maybe today he had regrets heading for five hours of interrogation where the office of Prime Minister offered no protection. David Cameron wanted it known he did believe the relationship between his political class and the media was unhealthy. I think the relationship has not been right. Uh, I think it has been too close. And what of persistent rumours David Cameron had done a deal with the Murdochs in return for their support in the Sun newspaper? There was no overt deal for support. There was no covert deal. There was no nods and winks. The Prime Minister detailed more than a 1,000 contacts with media owners and executives over the years. Perhaps not many as supportive as the text message from former News International chief Rebecca Brooks sent to him just before he delivered a major speech in 2009. I was, I'm so rooting for you tomorrow, not just as a personal friend, but because professionally we're definitely in this together. Speech of your life, question mark. Yes, he can, exclamation mark. I think that is about the Sun had made this decision to back the Conservatives, to part company with Labour. And uh, so the Sun wanted to make sure it was helping the Conservative Party put its best foot forward. David Cameron was also asked about his judgment hiring a former News International editor, Andy Coulson, as his communications director, despite his earlier resigning over hacking. In doing the job as director of communications for the Conservative Party and then director of communications in Downing Street, he did the job very effectively. David Cameron emerged perhaps a little embarrassed but not wounded. So a difficult day for David Cameron, finally over. Now the inquiry moves to dissecting the massive information it's gathered over the past few months. Philip Williams, ABC News, London.